Hello, what I foos, this is James, and welcome to the Metaphys Dimension. Metaphys, hotly anticipated, very confusing. Fear not, I'm here. We are going to talk about uh, the archetype, talk about some side decks, and a, uh, a mock up of a deck so that you can begin playing it out of the main box. I, of course, will be live streaming box opening gameplay on box opening day in one day. But uh, it'll all of the information will be ready for you right now. And the first thing you have to know is Metaphys Tyrant Dragon. This is our Lisan Al Gaib, our voice from the outer world. It is from him that all of the spice flows. So it is from Metaphys Tyrant Dragon that we are special summoning these other uh, high level, high impact monsters. Don't worry about Arm Dragon. Don't worry about it, Metaphys Executor. This is YouTube, and this is enabling YouTube, and I'll, I'll leave it at that. Alright, so Metaphys Tyrant Dragon. If this card is special summoned by the effect of a Metaphys monster, it is unaffected by trap effects. Uh, Nephthys and Daedalus are also that way. If To get their effects, they need to be special summoned by a Metaphys monster. This is the only one that we have. They have Ragnarok in the TCG, but we are relying on the Tyrant. This is a lot of, a lot of Dune allegory going on here. So, uh... If this card is banished during the standby phase of the next turn, you can shuffle this card into the deck. Special summon one Metaphys monster from your hand, but banish it during the end phase of the next turn. But banish it during the end phase of the next turn accompanies a lot of the special summon text in, um, or just a lot of the summon text in the in the Metaphys archetype, at least insofar as we have them. And then, what kind of what kind of bennies can we get off of that special summon? So we have Metaphys Nephthys. If this is meta, if this is meta, <laughs> this is meta summoned. You can banish all set spells and traps on the field, including your own. Uh, but you have, you know, continuous trap. That's the main use of. That's the main trap of the archetype. Is a continuous trap. So fear not. All Nephthys does is punish weevils for existing. I'm sure a lot of us are happy about that. And also. If this card is banished during the standby phase of the next turn, you can shuffle this banished card into the deck. Add one Metaphys card from your deck to your hand, except Metaphys, Nephthys. That's a uh, kind of a long-term way to search the card, uh, search a Metaphys card. And then we're also getting Metaphys Daedalus. And then so generally, I mean, unless your opponent has a bunch of back row set, you want to go into, like, because you want to go into Metaphys Nephthys. Uh, you, you're generally doing Tyrant Dragon Daedalus, Tyrant Dragon Daedalus, and the and Daedalus even has the the recursion on it. So, if this card is special summoned by the effect of a Metaphys monster, banish all other face up special summon monsters on the field. Ooh. Um, if this card is banished during the standby phase of the next turn, you can shuffle this banished card into the deck. Banish one Metaphys card from your deck, except Metaphys Daedalus. So. Turn one, uh, Metaphys, Tyrant Dragon. Let's say it gets banished by Ace and Metaphys. By the way, Ace and Metaphys, fantastic card. It is a one card engine. Once per turn, you can banish one Metaphys from your hand. Card, not necessarily a monster. And if you do, draw a card. And then and then it has this effect uh, on, your per- on your opponent's turn. But let's not worry about that right now. Let's worry about Tyrant Dragon banished on your turn. And then on your opponent's standby phase, you can special summon Metaphys Daedalus. Obviously, on their turn two standby phase, they're not going to have special summon monsters. That's not high impact, but supposing that we do that, Metaphys Daedalus, then during the next end phase, all right, during the end phase of the next turn, is banished, and then you can use his effect to search. Metaphys Tyrant Dragon again, but that's we're talking about a lot of end phases and a lot of standby phases uh, in between in between the the relationship between these two uh, you know dragon bros. So you know, we have we have to we have to fill the intervening turns with actions, but the purpose of that is just some some very long term uh, recursion. And but let's talk about this ultra rare. Metaphys Dimension. If your opponent special summons a monster, except during the damage step, you can target one of your banished Metaphys monsters special summon it, but banish it during the end phase of the next turn. Okay, alright. 
And if your other Metaphys card in its owner's possession is banished while this card is already face up in your spell and trap zone, you can target one card your opponent controls and banish it. You can only use each effect of Metaphys Dimension once per turn. So hard once per turn on the Metaphys Dimension, but crazy control effects. So uh, Metaphys card banished in, in your possession means just you banishing Metaphys cards, period. If it's banished from your hand, if it's banished from your deck, if it's banished from your field, if it's banished from your graveyard, all of that counts, and you get that hard once per turn, banish of your opponent's targetable card, which is very, very strong. Uh, and I saw Dad do it, so if, if, if I'm wrong, then he's wrong. So, Metaphys Dimension, is is worthy of the ultra rare spot but you don't need it to play the deck all you need is that tyrant dragon and so let's take another look at asim metaphys once you turn you can banish one metaphys card from your hand if you do draw one card okay right one turn engine it's doing what metaphys wants it's it's banishing and you're and you're drawing a card and then once return so soft once return so as many asim metaphyses as you have you can do this if your Metaphys card in its owner possession is banished, apply this effect during, depending on whose turn it is. So your turn, all monsters on the field lose 500 attack and defense except Metaphys monsters. So permanent power down, that's really good. And then opponent's turn, change the opponent's battle positions of all monsters on the field except Metaphys monsters. So this is interesting. This is the key to Metaphys, banishing on your turn versus banishing on your opponent's turn. So on the opponent's turn, change the battle position of all monsters on the field except Metaphys monsters. That's actually great because Metaphys, they have high stats. 2,900, 2,600, 2,400 attack. They have high stats, but it's not top tier stats, right? You're not getting over uh, blue eyes without the, without the help of a skill, without the help of beat or down which you'll probably use anyway but what we want to think about for our metaphys monsters the key in the ignition is do you banish on your turn or do you banish on your opponent's turn do you banish defensively your turn or do you banish offensively on your opponent's turn so basically what do i mean by defensive banish so if we banish on our turn right if we say all right let's say we have metaphys factor here each turn, one level five or higher Metaphys monster you normal summon can be summoned without tributing, but banish it during the end phase of the next turn. So let's just say all of this flows through Metaphys Tyrant Dragon, and then the same is is uh, Asim Metaphys, right? Uh, oh no no yeah no, banishing on your turn, not Metaphys Factor. Asim Metaphys. So Asim Metaphys or something like Gold Sark, you banish Metaphys Tyrant Dragon. And then, during your opponent's standby phase, Metaphys Tyrant Dragon's effect activates, uh, he shuffles into the deck, and then you special summon a monster from your hand during your opponent's standby phase. You know, before they, before they make their main phase play, they can see your Metaphys Daedalus and react to it. That may be appropriate, but what's gonna get you those Poggers wins is banishing on your opponent's turn. And for that, we're using Metaphys Factor. So each turn, one level five or higher Metaphys monster, you normal summon can be summoned without tributing, but banish it during the end phase of the next turn. So for that, uh, we're gonna normal summon Metaphys Tyrant Dragon, and then during the opponent's end phase, Tyrant Dragon is banished, and then his effect takes place during our standby phase, during my standby phase, I shuffle Metaphys Tyrant Dragon into the deck, and then I can special summon a Daedalus, I can special summon a Nephthys as it suits me, and so I can go inside. I can wreck my opponent's board, and I can go inside. Uh, so that's kind of the purpose of Metaphys Dimension, is if you're not able, if you're not in a position to make the offensive play, right, if you're not in a position to do like Metaphys Factor, or World Legacy Clash, Banish on your opponent's turn. Again, all going through Metaphys Tyrant Dragon. If you're not in position to do that, uh, Metaphys Dimension gives you a little bit of, you know, you're, you're sanding off the edges of your opponent's board. Uh, you banish, and then you remove 
one of their cards during your during your turn. Okay, so that's that's Metaphys. Your turn versus your opponent's turn. Banish, special summon, Pogger's removal with Metaphys Dimension. But what about some side deck cards? So obviously Gold Sark is amazing. Uh, one ca one card that searches and activates your plays. That's great. Uh, we talked about World Legacy Clash. So I think that World Legacy Clash and Metaphys Factor are important because they, again, they give you the option of banishing during your opponent's turn, enabling the offensive play. And without World Legacy Clash, uh, you don't really have a good way to react. Like, World Legacy Clash is a quick play that you can activate on your opponent's turn uh, to play around things like Econ, because otherwise you, know, you, you just get... You, you get your big Daedalus on the field and your opponent summons two monsters. Every monster has two monsters now. Two monsters, Econ take, attack for game. Because like Metaphys Dimension, it's like, a, it's like a clockwork, right? Your opponent can see all of it happening, but if you hide information with World Legacy Clash, you know, that can be the edge. And then another card that people are going gaga over is Aloof Lupine. When this card is normal summon, you can banish one monster from your hand Banish one monster from your deck with the same type as that monster. Uh, so that's obviously, you know, it's similar to Gold Sark, but instead of Gold Sark going to the graveyard, you get the monster, but then you also need the monster in your hand. So Luf, Lupine, maybe not super great, you know, in the late game, right? When you're when you're running out of cards. Opening a Luf, Lupine, you get a Luf, Lupine, normal summon, and then you banish a worm. And then you, well, you know, you banish two worms, and then you can get two effects rolling. But if you draw him late, that's kind of makes me unhappy. So I think I would prefer the Gold Sark over the Aloof Lupine. I'll, I'll show you the example deck. And then just straight memes. Inferno Tempest. When you take 3,000 or more battle damage from one attack, you can activate this card. Remove all monsters in each player's deck and graveyard from play. <laughs> So you set Inferno Tempest, you take the one Blue Eyes attack, and then you just have so many banishings to deal with that you'll probably time out. But that's Inferno Tempest and Metaphysics Executor. Huge YouTubes, and then, as promised, uh, example deck. So since Tyrant Dragon special summons from the hand, that's the, basically the only special summon way that we have, I'm going with three of each monster. Uh, three Metaphys, Tyrant Dragon, and then three Asim Metaphys, because again, this is the one card combo. Uh, and three of the Gold Sark, alright, because the Gold Sark is one card, search, and kickstarting the combo. And then I guess the rest of these, well, I mean, I'm, so that's what I feel like is set in stone. Uh, if you would d disagree, let me know in the comment section below. But I feel like that's, that's your Metaphys. That's it. That's that's how you. That's how it needs to be. And then you have five cards to play around with. So then I just kind of filled them in by instinct. Yeah, I guess we do two metaphys dimension. I mean, obviously you want three metaphys dimension, but let's try and build it with two because that's probably what I'm gonna have. Uh, and then you know you want two world legacy clash because again you lose to you high percentage chance to lose versus econ take without the world legacy clash. You know, without the aloof lupine, and then we have one spot. Okay, so third metaphys dimension, or uh, you know, the one metaphys factor, which is you know, like world, and then you know, even here, there's kind of like not as much. Again, turn, you know, banishing on the opponent's turn as I would necessarily like, but it's just an example. Maybe if if uh, I'm able to when I'm able to play with a loop lupine and see those maths in action, uh, the doggo will grow on me. That is all for the metaphys di discussion. I look forward to showing you all of the new decks. Thank you for watching.